Hi guys, it's Carrie. This is actually take two on this video. I already filmed it once and watched it back only to find that I was only half in frame for most of it. So anyway, um, I finished a new journal. I'm really excited about this one. I've been working on it a long time. I've spent many nights sitting, scouring the internet for images and then printing them out and sitting and fussy cutting them. This journal is called Snarky Bitch. And I'm dedicating it to my nieces, um, Kate and Megan, because they are both snarky bitches, and I say that with love. Okay, so it's a three ring binder, not the prettiest uh, binding system out there as far as junk journals go, but um, it's convenient. It makes it easy to move pages around, add things in, take things out. Um, it, it's really an easy an easy system so um, here we go so we start out with a pocket I have a black belt in sarcasm it's got a vintage doily on it a fussy cut image um, I did some faux stitching using a black uh, sharpie and it's um, blank on the back for journaling I got this cute little gal down here I'm see if I can bring her up for you guys to see it says the boobs are real the smile is fake. And I apologize if you hear a little weird noise. My Chewini, my sweet little Jojo, really wants to come in and be with me in the studio, but um, I won't let her in while I'm filming. So, anyway, another, the back side of this is another corner pocket. Um, I made these little, um, I don't know, to me they look like paper cameos, and I'm using them to decorate and do corner tucks. Uh, we've got this beautiful girl better to arrive late than ugly and she's got her rollers in and she's doing her nails so you flip it over and it's blank journaling space okay here we go on this side we've got um, I made journaling paper using um, word just lined paper um, I made some rag ruffles these are vintage rags a friend of mine gave them to me and when I say vintage I'm we're probably going back you know 60s 70s but uh, that's pretty vintage nowadays um, this baby flips out we have our first flip and then we have journaling space on this side and then this page actually flips up again to reveal uh, this gal you call it swearing I call it sentence enhancing we close it and then we've got this gal here in her beautiful pink pencil skirt never mistake my silence for weakness no one plans a murder out loud that cracks me up okay turn the page all right this one's kind of busy we've got a journaling card what I did is I took all my scraps, all my offcuts, um, and um, uh, pieced them together and stitched them down and um, basically made paper a paper quilt. And uh, this one, I'm fluent in three languages, English, sarcasm, and profanity. And this image cracks me up. It's actually um, an old advertisement. Oh, this is terrible. I'm not going to remember. I want to say it's for Catalina swimwear, but yet... She's in her, her undies, so, all right, never mind. Scratch that. I'll have to check my, uh, my source next time. On this page, oops, sorry, I bumped the, the tripod. Um, Lucille Ball. She couldn't hear what he was saying because a little voice in her head was screaming, he's full of shit, punch him in the dick. Sorry, hope I didn't offend anybody out there. Um, and again, the background is more of that paper I created, my, um, my paper quilts. A little bit of washi tape to frame this journaling space out. We have this beauty over here in her jammies, well, her version of jammies. Um, as long as everything is exactly as I want it, I'm totally flexible, and I can so relate to that. I have a vintage doily in the background. She's a fussy cut image, and then another one of these rag ruffles. I don't think I mentioned it in this video. Kind of hard, because I've already done this once. Um, 
all the dictionary paper that you see in the back is from an old dictionary that somebody gave me. This baby is like six inches thick. Um, it was falling apart, the spines shot. Um, it, I believe it's from 1940, it's either 43 or 46. Um, and it's just, it, it's just the best paper to work with. So I'm using it up. Um, we have more journaling space. All right, so this page, um, this is a pocket page. We've got a pocket here. This slides out. Yes, I know there's a special place in hell for me. It's called a throne. And then we have this lovely lady in a red dress. And again, I took more of my off cuts and created this tag, did a little faux stitching, and it's blank on the back for journaling. All right, this one is pretty busy. Let me let me go over this with you guys. Okay, so this is um, a pocket. Well, if you look at it this way, it's just a pocket with a tag in it. But when you flip it over, it actually is folded so that you can slide something in here, almost like a wallet. We have, today I ate a donut without sprinkles. Diets are hard. Yeah, they are. And then we slide this out to reveal this beauty in her sneakers and her smart little shorts. Without coffee, I wouldn't be the perky, foul-mouthed, delightful bitch that you know and love. And that's for you, Kate. My niece, she loves her coffee. Okay, on this side, we have another pocket page. We've got this beauty. Of course, I'm going to hell. I own the place. This is actually... Um, an index card divider. Um, this one was set up the 12 months of the year. Um, I added an index card and then um, on this side I added some vintage lace. Nice and sturdy so it makes for a really nice journaling card. I've got some lace on here. This actually came from a little girl's dress that I bought at a thrift store. It was really stained and it was torn but it it was white and it just had the coolest uh, lace and crochet work done on it. So I bought it for a dime and brought it home and I've been uh, deconstructing it and using it in my journals. There is nothing to fear but fear itself and me if you mess with my dog. And that is all the women in my family. Okay, on this side we have another um, fold over side tuck. Um, this time I took one of these index dividers. This one says June, which I thought was appropriate. She's in her bathing suit. Um, and then I took these um, index cards that I bought at Dollar Tree, I believe. I'd never seen them before. They're actually graph paper instead of lined. Um, and I, I think that's pretty cool. So I think I took, what, five or six of them and um, used a metal brad that matched and uh, attached and kind of made my version of a little, little weird notebook. I'm not always sarcastic. Sometimes I'm sleeping. We got another rag, um, a rag ruffle, more dictionary page. Okay, oh, I think she's so stunning. I know she's not a real person, but she's a beautiful illustration. You think I'm listening, but I'm really just doing your brows in my head. And uh, I think it's really odd or interesting that a lot of these gals had cigarettes in their hands because back in, the, in that time, smoking a cigarette was sexy. Little did we know, right? <laughs> um, this crochet work is off of that little girl's dress I was talking about. Okay, we got more journaling space. We have another corner um, pocket. Resting bitch face has saved me from many conversations I didn't want to be part of. I did some faux stitching, she's a fussy cut image, and then I added some washi tape, and it's blank on the back for journaling. Okay, I pulled out my washi tape. I, we have a corner tuck here, another one of these little paper cameos, if you will, a rag ruffle, and then I took some index cards. Um, I printed an image of a babe at the beach, and then I added some washi tape, and then they were, they were really kind of flimsy index cards, so I, um, I glued them together to make a notebook, and um, added some washi tape to it to make it kind of interesting, and it just tucks in a little added 
oops, dog hair. Well, when you have four of them, that happens. Okay, so over here, you'll all be sorry when I figure out how to breathe fire. And then this page flips out and reveals journaling space. We flip it over and on this side, the journaling space is at the bottom. Some people call it bitching. I call it verbal release therapy. Pardon me, I gotta take a little sip of my adult beverage here. Ah. Okay, back on track. We've got <laughs> this one, she reminds me of Jessica Rabbit. Um, journaling space, this folds out to reveal more journaling space. Sometimes I wanna hurt people's feelings with a chainsaw. <laughs> okay. Um, this pocket I saw on Pinterest, I think it was on Pinterest, they took um, a circle of patterned paper and then folded it in and folded it up. I stitched around the edges to stitch it down. I added a paper cameo and we got a cool little pocket here. It kind of reminds me of um, a french fry uh, box. All right, I took a manila tag. I hate it when someone underestimates what a raging bitch I can be, but the look of fear on their faces when they realize it is fucking awesome. And I apologize if I offended anybody with my salty language. Blank on the back for journaling. This time I took a little piece of denim and uh, made my rag ruffle. Oh, look at this. I made this book and I forgot what's going on. It folds out, revealing two more pages of journaling space. All right, more journaling space. We've got another fold over pocket. This time I kept these simple. I thought they were lovely just as they are. We've got this lovely image and then um, index card on the back. This one is also index card on the back. And again, really pretty image. I punched some corner um, decorations. Okie doke. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, I thought I missed a flip again. All right. We got a cool pocket. Another one of these funky folds. This has a pocket here. And I've got this adorable little tag. And then this cracks me up. Look how teeny tiny it is. Don't underestimate me. Excuse me. Don't underestimate me. I can go from lady to gangsta in 2.5 seconds. And it's a sweet little place to write a note. And then you tuck it in. And then there's a tuck up here. Who sprinkled the bitchy dust. And blank space on the back for journaling. This journal has a lot of journaling space. A lot of times I get kind of crazy with decorations and I kind of forget the whole point, which is it's a journal. To me, drink responsibly means don't spill it. And then she's got herself a cocktail. Folds out and it reveals more of these stunning beauties. Flip it over and oh, we recognize, well, I recognize this one. It's Marilyn Monroe. And then another uh, rag ruffle with a vintage, I believe this was a vintage sheet. And then the last page, again, says awesome things will happen to you today if you choose not to be a miserable cow. And it folds out. And the last page, we've got some military inspired pinup girls. And that, my friends, is the end of that journal. So, the snarky bitch journal. I'm going to be listing it in my Etsy shop. If you'd like to see more of it, you can see still pictures there. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. All right, take care. See you next time.